In this video, we are going to see how to get Webflow form submission responses to different emails for different forms. So let's say that I've got two forms in my Webflow, which is an inquiry form and a request form. So I want every time a request form has been filled, then the response should be received by a different email address by my admin. And when an inquiry form is filled, then again, a different email address should receive the response. So to do this, I'm going to integrate Webflow and Gmail, and I'm going to do the same using Public Connect. So here my trigger application will be Webflow and my action application will be Gmail. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let's start. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here we have reached the landing page. I'm going to quickly sign in. And as I do that, here you can see we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. And a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. So what is my objective here? So let's say that in Webflow, I have got different forms, inquiry and request form. I want that every time a request form has been filled, then my admin should receive all the request responses. And if an inquiry form has been filled, then a different admin should receive all the inquiry responses. So I'm going to name it as get Webflow form submission responses to different emails for different forms now I'm going to click on create and as I do that here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events one is trigger another one is action now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works trigger is when this happens action says do this basically action here is the response of your trigger application now as per this integration my trigger application here will be webflow and the trigger event here would be new form submission. So this is the event that is going to make this workflow run. Here you can see that we have received a webhook URL, which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Webflow and Pabli Connect. I'm going to copy this and now we have to follow the following steps. Let me show you what exactly you have to do. So I have already logged into my Webflow account. Let's go to dashboard. Now here you can see that I already have created different sites. So I'm going to go to this particular project and here we have to go to settings. Once you are here, we have to go to integrations. Then let's scroll down. You will find webhook. So I'm going to click on add webhook. And here I'm going to select form submission and I'm going to paste the URL that we had just copied. Now I'm going to click on add webhook. So here we can see that our webhook has been successfully set up. Once this is done, here Public Connect is asking to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response, which means that now I'm supposed to fill some forms. So here I already have created these forms. So one is connect integration. This is an integration request form. And I have another form, which is an inquiry form. So I'm going to fill up this form, which is integration form. Let's say the name here is smart user. Then the email address here is smart user at pablitudes.com. And then we have the integration request, which is I want an integration between Google Sheets and Facebook lead ads. So this is the request. Now I'm going to click on submit. So here you can see that the form has been submitted going back to Public Connect. Let's see if we have received the API response and here it is. So the name of the form is request form. This is the data request. Here we have the name of the user, email address. This is the date and this here is the ID. So now once I have received this request, now what is my objective? I have got conditions. Now if a request form is filled, then the response has to be shared on a separate email ID. And if it is an inquiry form, then the mail is supposed to be received by my admin on a different email ID. So since there are conditions, I'm going to use a feature by Pabli, which is router. Now here we can see that router step allows to execute different actions based on the filter conditions you set. So here I am going to first of all name this. So this is my request form. So all the responses that I received through this request form should take this particular route. Now I'm going to set filter and action steps. So here we have to select the label for this filter. 
let's go to step one here and here the name is request form so if this is equals to request form then only this workflow should continue so i'm going to click on save and send test request and here you can see that the condition is true why because yes this is a request form now i'm going to choose my action step here which is going to be gmail so let's look for the application gmail here that is and here the action event would be send email let's click on connect so here i'm going to select add new connection connect with gmail so here we have to choose an account so chosen let's go to continue and here we can see that the connection is all set now i'm going to go down and here so let's say that every time a request form is filled and i have received the response then i want that all those responses should be sent to request mails at pablitudes.com this particular email address now what is the sender's name the sender's name is pabli connect request mails team then we have the email subject so here what is the email subject new request received okay once this is done then i'm going to take you down and here we have the email content so i'm going to write team we have received a new request now what is the request so i'm going to here share the details First of all, the name of the person for this, I'm going to map the data how. So this here is the previous step. Let's go down and this here is the name of the person. Then we have the email address. So here again, I'm going to go to step one. This is the email address. Then what is the request? So I'm going to add the request details. So let's go to step one once again. And this here is the request detail. Now I'm going to write, please, do the needful regards so now here the method with which i have added the information here this is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration had i written the same information manually so even when my workflow was running for the nth time then also it would have taken the same data and not the new data to avoid that we map now the next thing is if you wish to send any file then you are supposed to enter the file name here and the attachment please remember that the maximum file size allowed is 25 mb now i'm going to click on save and send test request and as i do that here we can see we have received the api response so now i'm going to go and check that whether we have received an email and here you can see that we have received an email. So team, we have received a new request and these are the details. So this means that our integration till here is a success. Now I'm going to take you back and close this. Now here I'm going to take the other route and here I'm going to name it as inquiry form. Let's click on update. Now here I'm going to set filter and action steps. So here I'm going to go to step one. So this name should be equal to inquiry form and then only the workflow should continue. So here we can see the condition is false. Why? Because we have just filled a request form. So I'm going to go ahead and put the action step because if this here, the condition is a success, which means if the inquiry form is filled, then what should happen? Here again, a mail should be sent. So I'm going to choose my action application as Gmail and the action event here would be to send email. Let's click on connect. So here again, I'm going to go ahead with the existing connection. And now the recipient's email address. So here it would be inquiry mails at pablitudes.com. So this is another email address. And then we have the sender's name. So I'm going to write Pabli Connect Inquiry Team. Now the email subject new inquiry received. Then we have the email content type. This is plain email content here would be team we have received a new inquiry now we are going to share the details so first of all the name so i'm going to map the name of the person then here i'm going to map the email address so here the email address is this then we have the details so inquiry details and let's go to step one these are the inquiry details and regards 
so now I'm going to click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the API response which means that now the person should have received the email of course here I have just mapped this data to show you how you have to do this when we will receive the inquiry response then automatically it is going to change the data because we have mapped this information so now I'm going to close this and we are going to check the same in real time so what I'm going to do is this time I'm going to fill up the inquiry form so let's say the name here is test user the email address here is test user at pavlitudes.com then what is the message it is just a test message let's click on submit so as we do that here we can see that our submission has been received and here you can see that we have received another email so we have received a new inquiry and these are the details now i'm going to take you back to public connect to understand what we have done so here our trigger application was webflow where the event was new form submission then we had used a feature by Pably which was router which had different conditions we have two conditions here that if we had received a request form submission then the mail has to be sent to a person particular email id and if it is an inquiry form submission then the mail has to be sent to a different email id i hope this is absolutely clear to you if in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work you can always write to us not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.